Hey guys, it's Chris from Tech Takedown, and in this video I'm going to be showing you somewhat of a secret room on the map Black Box that only works in survival mode. This was recently found by a player known as Bob Curry HD, and you may know that getting into this spot on a public match is no problem, but on survival mode they ended up putting barriers all around it. So I'm going to be showing you how to get past those barriers. It is somewhat difficult, but if you stick to it you should get the hang of it, and guys, I hope you enjoy the video. Now to start off you're going to have to buy a sentry gun and I also recommend having another player in the game with you also because doing this in solo is incredibly difficult. I recommend leaving the last person in the wave alive and have your friend or whoever you are playing with run them around the map while you try to get into the spot. That way you can take your time and you're not being bombarded by dogs and being shot at while you're trying to do this. Now the first thing you have to learn is how to properly place the sentry turret. You're going to want to get it on the edge of this hill right next to the wall. As you can see I move mine back and forth from red to gold until I find the proper spot. Spot. The more times you try this, you will discover the best spot to put the sentry, so you kind of have to experiment a bit. You're going to jump onto the sentry and then jump onto the corner of the wall. Then from the corner of the wall, you're going to jump on top of the wall. You will find yourself sliding back off of the wall multiple times, but just stick to it. Another tip is also to jump to the left of the sentry, not directly on it. You will notice that when you placed your sentry, you created an invisible barrier that you are allowed to stand on. As you can see, I fail multiple times and slide down the wall, and this will happen to you, but you're going to want to jump to the corner of the wall like I do here, jump on top of the wall, then back up into this little divot, and then try to jump over to the white railing. This time I'm actually able to do it and get into this spot. If you see, I back up as far as I can in prone into the little divot. When I do this, I'm jumping out towards my right and then moving in towards my left to go around the barrier and quickly click A to climb over the white railing. So here it is in slow motion. I go in prone and back up until I fall back into the divot. Then I look to my right, jump out towards my right, move in with my left analog stick and quickly press A to push myself over the railing. Once you get it, you're able to go into this metal box where no one can kill you. It's a great spot to go when air support comes out, that way you can distract it while you stay safe in the box and your friend can shoot it down. It's also overall just a great spot in general because you have a nice view over the map and you can pick people off from far away. I do recommend buying some guns before coming up in this spot because while I was up here I was stuck with a pistol and a shotgun so I didn't have much range. I can tell you right now that this is a difficult spot to get into. It will take practice. It really isn't something you can just do first try. But I do encourage you guys to try it because once you get it once you can almost get it every other time. It took me a while to do in the beginning but now that I've practiced it a lot I can do it without a problem. Well guys it's been Chris from Tech Takedown. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one.